Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm showing you how to crochet this beautiful tote bag. It's really easy. The bag measures 13 inches by 10.5 inches, and the base is about 3.5 inches. For this project, you need cotton yarn or any types of yarn of your choice. This is the number three category yarn. Each one is about 50 grams, and I use four of this. You'll also need a five millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, yarn needle, and stitch markers. All right, let's get started. First, make a slip knot. Insert the hook and make a chain of 45. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So go ahead and make a chain of 45. To begin the pattern, start on the fourth chain from hook. One, two, three, four, place a double crochet, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and yarn over, pull through the last two loops. Again, place another double crochet into the same chain. And place a marker on this stitch. So two double crochet plus the beginning chain. So now we have three double crochet. In the next chain, double crochet. Double crochet into the next chain. Double crochet. And double crochet into every chain all the way across. In the last chain, place five double crochet. That's one. Place a marker. Two. Three, four, and one more, five. Place a marker on this stitch. Now, work along the side of the chain for 40 stitches. And this brings us back to the beginning. So double crochet into the next chain. That's one, two, three. After 40 stitches in the next chain, which is also the first chain where there are two double crochet and the chain stitch, place two more double crochet in the same chain. One, place a marker, and one more, two, slip stitch into the top of the third chain, there are five double crochet on this end, and five double crochet on this end, 40 stitches, also 40 stitches. Total we have 90 stitches. To begin round two, three chains. One, two, three. This always counts as a double crochet. In the same stitch, place a double crochet. Two, three, 
to the bobochet into the next stitch. One, two, and two double crochet into the next stitch. One, two, place the marker on the last stitch. And double crochet into every stitch for 40 stitches until the next marker. At the second marker, place two double crochet in every stitch for five stitches. Total 10 stitches. One, two. Place the marker on the first stitch. Two double crochet into the next stitch. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Place the marker on the last stitch. From here, double crochet into every stitch for 40 stitches until the last marker. At the last marker, there are two stitches. Place two double crochet into the last two stitches. Total four stitches. One. Two, place the marker on the first stitch. Three, and four. Step stitch into the top of the third chain. This round, we have a total of 100 stitches. To begin round three, three chains. And this always counts as a stitch. In the next stitch, two double crochet. One, two, double crochet into the next stitch, two double crochet. One, Two double crochet and two double crochet. Place a marker on the last stitch. Then double crochet into every stitch for 40 stitches until the next marker. At the marker, Repeat what we did at the beginning of the round. Double crochet. Place a marker on this stitch. Two double crochet. One. Two. Double crochet. Two double crochet. One, two. Repeat three more times until the next marker. Total 15 stitches between the green marker and the pink marker. And double crochet into every stitch for 40 stitches until the last marker. At the last marker, repeat what we did at the beginning of the round. 
double crochet place a marker on this stitch two double crochet repeat one more time double crochet two double crochet slip stitch into the first stitch which is the top of the third chain this round we have a total of 110 stitches to begin round four three chains in the same stitch place a double crochet so now we have two double crochet in the first stitch and double crochet into two stitches two double crochet one two double crochet into two stitches repeat one more time two double crochet one two double crochet into two stitches Place a marker in this stitch and double crochet into every stitch for 40 stitches until the next marker. At the marker, repeat what we did at the beginning of the round. Two double crochet, one, two, place the marker on the first stitch. Double crochet into two stitches. Two double crochet. One. Two. Double crochet into two stitches. Repeat this three more times until the next marker. From here, double crochet into 40 stitches until the next marker. At the last marker, repeat what we did at the beginning of the round. Two double crochet, one, two, place the marker on the first stitch, double crochet into two stitches. Repeat one more time, two double crochet, one, two, double crochet into two stitches. Slip stitch into the top of the third chain. This round, we have a total of 120 stitches. The base is now complete, and we are working with 120 stitches for the rest of the pattern. To begin round five, Three chains. One, two, three. Add five more chains. One, two, three, four, five. Total eight chains. In the same stitch, place a double crochet. Skip one, two, three, four. Double crochet into the next stitch. Five chains. One, two, three, four, five. Double crochet 
into the same stitch. Skip one, two, three, four, and the next stitch, double crochet, five chains, one, two, three, four, five. Skip one, two, three, four, double crochet, five chains, double crochet into the same stitch, and repeat this all the way around, and I'll meet you on the next round. At the end of round five, double crochet, then skip the last four stitches. To begin round 6, slip stitch into the top of the third chain, that's this one. Three chains. One, two, three. In the chain space, place three single crochet. One. Two, three. And you want to place a marker on the top of the third chain because this is our first stitch. Place a double crochet into the double crochet stitch. Double crochet. In the chain space, three single crochet. One, two, three. Double crochet. Double crochet. Three single crochet. Double crochet, double crochet, and repeat this all the way around, and I meet you on round 7. Slip stitch into the first stitch, which is the top of the third chain. Slip stitch into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch. Which is the second single crochet. Three chains, and this is our first stitch. Add five more chains. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Double crochet into the same stitch. Skip four stitches, and the next stitch, which is the second single crochet, place a double crochet. Five chains: one, two, three, four, five, and double crochet into the same stitch. Skip four stitches, and the second single crochet stitch. Place a double crochet, five chains, one, two, three, four, five, and double crochet into the same stitch. I start when my bag measures at 10.5 inches. From here, join the round by slip stitch into the next stitch, one chain, and place a single crochet into every stitch. And I'll meet you on the next round. After one round of single crochet, the next part is to make the handles. I have already placed the markers of where I want the handles to be. There are 120 stitches, divided by that by 4 is 30. 
So from the green marker to the green marker, 30 stitches. From the green marker to the purple marker, 30 stitches. 30 stitches and 30 stitches. From here, draw the round by slip stitch, one chain, single crochet into every stitch until the next marker. At the marker, make a chain of 80 or however long you want the handle to be. Skip 30 stitches, single crochet into the next stitch, and make sure your chain is not twisted. And single crochet into every stitch until the next marker, and repeat until you have two handles. And I'll meet you on the next round. To begin the next round, slip stitch into the first stitch, one chain, single crochet into every stitch until the chain. And I meet you at the chain right here. At the chain, turn to the back and single crochet into the little bump at the back of the chain. The reason I'm placing the single crochet into the back of the chain is to give a nice finishing edge. If you don't want to, you don't have to do it this way. You may always do the traditional way. After you complete this round of single crochet, Make another one round or two rounds of single crochet to finish the bag. And I meet you at the end of the final round. At the end of the final round, after the last single crochet, cut yarn. With a yarn needle, insert into the first stitch. Then insert into the back loop of the previous stitch for a nice finishing loop. Lastly, weave in the tail. And that's all for today. I hope you like the new bag. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!